Hi, I'm Danny Halbum. Welcome to my studio. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is something that's rather important, uh, I think, in creating paintings. Uh, most artists know how to, um, you know, if they have spend any time doing stuff, they know how to create uh, a swan or somebody's face or a landscape, or whatever it is they're doing. They pretty much get used to it after a while, what, how to do the mountains and the trees uh, and things of that nature. What they don't really, I don't think, take in consideration is, especially if they're trying to do the paintings for, for selling them, is emotion sells your paintings. People, if, if the painting is boring, you may have some great detail work in it, and you may have taken a lot of time with it, but if it doesn't move them, they're probably not going to buy the piece. It's something that if that just, I mean, it's an impulse buy. You know, people that buy artwork, an impulse buy. And I found that what moves people the most um, is again, something that is emotional to them. And what creates that is lighting. Lighting is so very important in paintings. All the way from Rembrandt on down, they all use lighting to the, the best ability that they possibly could, and that's what grabs your attention. Now, if you're doing something like, you know, um, wildlife or something to that nature, those kind of people, they want, they want to see every feather on the bird. So you go ahead and you paint all the, all the fine feathers and so forth. Um, and the lighting is not that important because they're more important in the details. So know the audience that you're trying to sell to, if you're trying to sell your paintings. But if it's just to the general audience, the lighting is very important. I want to show you a few examples. On this first painting here, you can see that I've used the, the lighting of the, uh, the colors are very soft. There's a nice mood of a guy sitting on a beach. And it, the whole thing just screams emotion. I mean, when you see it, you feel the painting. And that's what's important on this is, you know, you have to feel it to translate it over to the people so that they feel it. Because what, what you put, what's inside you, it's got to come out on the canvas. And once that does, it will convey back to the people. If you put, you know, if you're feeling in a real soft mood and you paint really soft, that softness is going to come to the people and the people that are, uh, that, you know, love soft paintings will want that. So you have to convey what you're doing. And this one here, you know, it was, um, it was mostly just that whole mood of it that, it, that was selling. It was that quietness and that, that thoughtfulness behind it. On the second one, again, you can see that, you know, there's strong lighting in here. It gives you that feeling, a uh, very ethereal feeling, where you feel like you're at the dinner table with Jesus, you know, or with God. You know, you, it, it gives you that whole feeling and it, the fact that it goes back to nothing also adds to that element. But again, the lighting is strong. If I just had a regular sky with no lighting in here, it would have taken away a lot of the effect of that painting. This third one here, this is probably one of the earliest, if not the earliest, um, Christian pieces that I did for reproduction. I did this back in uh, the early 70s, and believe it or not, I still sell this painting a lot. It was very simple, which is also is a very good thing to keep in mind. You know, if you can keep something very simple, people get drawn right into it. If it's something that's complicated, um, you know, it takes them too long to figure out what's going on and they lose that emotion. You want something that they get drawn to immediately, get sucked right into it, and they stay right there. And this is one of those pieces. It's something that it just speaks to you. There's nothing, there's not much going on. You see what it is, and yet that strong sun rays and everything coming out is what gives that the emotion to that painting. Now on this one here, uh, the fourth one is also the same sort of thing. There's a mood that's there. It's like a very foggy scene. Uh, you know, you could almost hear how silent it is out there. I mean, and you know, just hearing the, the whale's tail just slopping down because everything else is dead silent. It creates that whole atmosphere. And again, it's all because of the lighting. Now on the fifth one, this one is one of my newer creations. 
And again, the lighting was very important to this. Um, the, the verse that I put on here, this is actually a poster, but the verse that I put on here um, talks about, you know, um, uh, the false apostles and that sort of thing. And the lighting that's on here, the, the lighting actually goes very much with the verse that's there. And again, this piece, without that lighting, without that strong lighting of the lightning blasting right there by his face and the wings being lit up, uh, would be very dead. I could paint every feather and make it really nice, but you wouldn't get the same feeling. Lighting is emotion, and emotion is what sells the pieces and moves the people in when they look at it. Again, this next one here, number six, is, is another one that um, has very strong lighting to it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very quiet and peaceful, and it gives you that whole feeling, again, because of the light, the way that it reflects on the water, uh, the sunset's very smooth out there. Uh, everything about this, you know, you can see that it's a nighttime scene with the sunset. Even though it's all in blues, there's no reds like the other sunset. Still, you have that feeling of that. And again, it's the feeling that people react to. The next one here with the horses, same sort of thing. Now, this one is different colors. It's an action shot, but you get that same feeling. It's, it, the lighting just draws you right into the painting. And that's what you want. You want to draw the people into the piece so that they become part of that piece. Not just looking at it, but actually being involved in that piece. And something like this actually does that. So does the next one here with the whale, the whale's tail. This one here is another great example of, of just simple lighting. You don't need to be, have much, just that and the lighting bouncing off the bubbles. Everything else is pretty much smoothed out. It's a very simple piece, but it's so dramatic. It just, it, 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 you, when you look at it, you just feel the size of these beasts. They're just so big, and you can almost hear the bubbles. I mean, it's just the emotion again. You gotta draw the people into it. Again, here's another one. Um, this one actually here is my son that I, I had posed for me for this painting. Um, and again, it's, it's because I, you know, the softness of the, the fog behind him and in front of him and the lighting that he's very dark with the light behind it gives that whole atmosphere and that, that feeling um, that you're there. And it, it just creates a, an atmosphere. As does the next one here with the girl. Again, it's very soft lighting. Now this was more um, a piece I did a while ago, but it was, it was more on a, uh, a very soft level. And you know, the, everything that I did up here, I mean, I didn't use any blacks. There's no dark tones here at all. It's, you know, just the, the lighting that's hitting her face. The whole thing just screams femininity and softness. And that's what the, that was what the public um, the, that I was targeting to when I did this piece up. The next one here, now this one is all about um, atmosphere. I mean, this whole thing, again, Jesus, I've done Jesus and far more detail than this. This was not about doing detail. This was about creating an emotion. The whole thing was, matter of fact, the title of the piece is Speak to the Storm. And that's what this whole thing was, was Jesus just speaking to the storm, holding his hand out saying, peace be still. And you could feel that. It's almost like you're right there because of that lighting and the atmosphere around it. And the next one, uh, this was an older piece of mine. It's called the Trinity. And again, it's the lighting effect. The whole piece is very dark, except for the, the lighting that's just hitting the edges of God's hand, Jesus' hand, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. And it's that lighting effect that's on there that creates that whole atmosphere. And here's a couple of, of pieces that I, I'm, I'm not picking on other people's art when I bring this up. I'm just trying to point out the difference so you can see it. Like this first piece right here, um, it's just, because everything is so evenly toned, there's really not that much dark. The trees are darker, but there's no graduation in darkness. And the, the, all the, it seems like all the bushes and the trees, even the ones in the distance and the ones in the foreground, are the same color, the same intensity. Therefore, it makes it very flat. And you want to try to stay away from that. Usually when you're doing a piece, the whole idea is the pieces, the anything that's in the in the background, way in the background, should be done in lighter and grayer tones. Anything more in the foreground should be in darker 
and more colorful tones. That will give you depth in your painting. Uh, the next one here, now this is a, a cute little girl and, and the painting is very cute and it's very adorable. But again, look at this piece. Now you've seen the other pieces that I was showing you, the ones that I did. If you would have taken, if, she, if whoever painted this, if they would have taken this piece and they would have put some accent lighting just on one side of her and, and lit up her hair and maybe just had, you don't even have to have sun rays, but just some kind of sun coming down, just hitting the grass around her and in the background made it darker and more gray and not, you know, you don't have that dark bush back there, just, you know, kind of fuzzed out to nothing. And all the accent on the front, it would have made this piece such a better painting by, again, just using the lighting. And it's not hard, you know, there's, that the, she just didn't do that on this piece. Now the next one is an example I want to show you what I talked about earlier as far as wildlife. Now this piece again is very flat because there's, there's not a lot of um, lighting effects onto it. He has some lighting around the heads, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty flat all the way across. However, his market here, this is a wildlife piece and these people that, that love wildlife art, they want to see every piece of fur, every feather, so they want to see all that stuff. So he can't darken that down too much or he'll lose all that detail. So for him, this probably worked out very well. For me, I would have handled it a totally different way and put more lighting control into it to make the piece speak to the, the person more than just as a, uh, a reference piece for animals. And this one here, again, this, this fourth one, this little girl right here, it's such a cute shot. I mean, that she's captured the face, or he, whoever painted it. I mean, they captured the face, it's beautiful. She's, they've got all of that going for them. But again, there's, there's no s nice soft lighting on this. But a face like this is so adorable, you wanna keep it all soft. The background should have been almost like a, a blurred wash or something. And just having some lighting come down on one side, darkening the other side a little bit, maybe even washing it out on the bottom so your focal point goes right to the face and the little kitten, I think would have made a lot better piece. And finally, I wanna bring these two pieces out to you. I want to bring these side by side. Now, these are both uh, paintings of uh, lilies, you know, water lilies. Now, the one artist that's that's up here that that is more in, in the, into the blues. Again, you can see the difference. I mean, I have pretty much the same, although it's not the exact same painting, but it, but it's still it's a water lily on lily pads. They painted a water lily on lily pads. But look at the difference. Which one is more Peeling, which one draws you into it? And, it's, and it has nothing to do with, well, I painted it better. It's the fact that it's the lighting. You have all dark and then you pop that brightness out. You're drawing the people in. Where the other one is just very flat. It's like, okay, yeah, it looks like a flower. I know what it is, but it doesn't speak to you. This one speaks volumes to you. And so what I'm trying to say here is this. If you know what I do? I'll tell you what I do. I go through, sometimes if I'm watching, looking through a magazine uh, or um, anything that's, that's got pictures in it, and if something hits me, if something just grabs my eye, I'll usually tear it out or cut it, whatever, and I'll just put it into a file someplace. And the reason, and what I do is later on at some point, I'll pull that piece up and I'll, I'll look at it again and if I still feel, you know, oh, that's so great, then I start asking myself, why do I think this is so good? What is it about this piece that's attracted me to it? And those are the elements you should put in. And I'll bet you nine times out of 10, it'll be the lighting. I'll say the best people <laughs> in the world to look at lighting for is Hollywood. They are masters at lighting. They're all all their, their movies is about lighting. I mean, you know, they give you the fog scenes and this coming, but everything that creates that atmosphere, and that's what we're drawn in the movies, and that's why we love going to these, the, the movies that they make is because they're masters at the lighting. Everything they're trying to show, they do it through the artwork of light. And if we can emanate, emanate that, that's, it, that would make the paintings sell themselves pretty much, you know, and it makes you feel really good about, you know, doing something like that. So again, I go back to, I think, 
One of the, the key points to doing really good paintings, now everybody has their own opinion, but for me, I think it's all about the lighting because it creates the atmosphere, it creates the mood, and people are emotional people, and that's what gets them to buy the painting is when they feel emotionally con con contacted to that piece. So I hope this helped you out, and go out there, again, take some, uh, take some photographs if you, if you can, or you know, get some magazine covers, or study Hollywood films or whatever it is, and still frame them, whatever you need to do. Um, something on a lighting effect, and see how they're using light and try to implement that in with your paintings and you'll create a better painting.